This tutorial will show you how to stitch two videos recorded with two Kodak SP360 4K cameras together with the Kodak software PixPro 360 Stitch. Then you will learn how to add some text layers in VR to your video in Adobe Premiere Pro CC and finally upload it to YouTube. Everything is done on the Mac Pro. Ok, let's get started. First of all, start PixPro 360 Stitch. Drag and drop your video from camera 1 to the source window, then click and browse to open the video from camera 2. The software will do a quick check to see if you can stitch the two videos. Just click on OK. After importing, just click on Audio Sync. The two movies are now perfectly synced. You can now look around your video. Great, looking good, huh? But as you can see, the stitching browser is not perfect with the Kodak software. Right, okay. You can try to adjust the stitch by clicking on calibration. It's not that easy to get a perfect stitch. Play around or if you have some money left, you can buy Auto Piano Video. Maybe the best software for that at the moment, but it's not cheap. See the link in the description. Let's get back to the job. Like that, it's it's fine. I'm gonna select the 10 second range of the video, click on export, choose my destination folder and file name, unselect to upload the video to YouTube and click on OK. Exporting the video could take some time depending on the speed of your system. Let's close PixPro 360 Stitch and open Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Just create a new project. Track and drop the exported video from PixPro 360 Stitch to the project window. Right click on it and choose New Sequence from Clip. As you can see the movie is flat, no VR 360 video. But the new version of Adobe Premiere Pro CC has a functionality to work with VR videos. Click on Button Editor and drag the button Toggle VR Video Display just right here. Et voila! After clicking on the edit button, you have a VR video inside of Adobe Premiere Pro CC. To get a better view, click on settings, then VR video and settings. Choose monoscopic and 180 degree in monitor view horizontal and 90 degree in vertical. That looks good now. Now adding a text layer. Right click in the project window and select new item, title, name it and enter some text. I choose Munich as this video was shot in Munich. Center the text layer and you're ready. After tracking the title to the video timeline, you can see it in your video in VR. I put it a little down and make it bigger, but now the text is distorted. To correct this, click on effects and search for lens distortion. Add this effect to your text layer by double clicking on the effect, go to the effect controls and change the value of horizontal decentering. Just play with the value to get the result you want. That looks good. I change opacity to 90 so the text is not that hard on the video. Here's the right position for the text, just adding some basic dissolve effects. Doing some uh, basic color corrections here, that looks much better. And now exporting the video by choosing File, Export, Media. In the Export Settings window I leave everything by default but check Video is VR with Monoscopic. That adds the video tag so YouTube recognizes the video as a VR video. Just choosing the video name and destination and click on Export. This could take really some time. Finished, great. Now fire up your browser and open YouTube. Click on upload and drag and drop your exported video from Adobe Premiere Pro CC to the browser window. I set the video to private as I want just to test the VR functionality. Done. And here is the VR video. <laughs> but no, it is flat. Okay, that's normal. YouTube needs some time to render your V2 to the proper VR settings. Just refresh the browser window after a few minutes and you're ready. So look around. Everything is here and looking good.
Thanks for watching. It would be great if you're gonna leave a comment so I can see if you liked or didn't like the video.